Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, we'll do two things in this video. First of all, for those that want to see it, because I don't show a lot of my antennas in general, but uh, this is what I use. So, you know, when I tell everybody that I'm listening to the satellites or any signal on VHF UHF with my uh, outdoor mobile vertical antenna on a metal shed, well, that's the antenna. This is a wide band. It's uh, rated from 30 it's something like 25 megahertz all the way to 1.3 gigahertz. It uh, actually is ready for 2 meter and 70 centimeter transmission. Uh, not a lot of watts though. I, I don't remember what's the wattage, but it's low power. But still, it can do it. And um, it's on top of a metal shed. This is a metal shed here. Now the angle of view is kind of difficult, but most of the antenna is above rooftop here. Uh, that angle kind of shows it a little weird uh, like this but it's most of it is ab above rooftop here and this is what I use to listen to satellites so if you guys see my decoding of slow scan TV pictures from the International Space Station uh, receiving beacons from satellites and so on this is what most of the time I'm using it um, I pay 99 cents which is funny because you know you never thought I never thought a 99 cent antenna would give me so much mileage uh, it was a clearance cell, basically. And um, so this is the antenna I use. And I will, of course, um, uh, I've, I've been using it for the past, well, uh, so it's been here 20 years because I lived here 20 years. So it's it's been up there for 20 years right now. Uh, still standing tall and working great. Um it is on a metal surface because this is a, a mobile vertical with a mag mount. So it's a big magnet at the bottom, very strong magnet. But I've got a really big roof over the metal shed here. So it acts as, of course, the counterpoise, which means this antenna performs perfectly because it is in its best conditions to actually work. And it is fed in the house through RG58. Now, I know that RG58 is not the best of coax to use for VHF UHF because there's a lot of loss especially the higher you go in frequency the more loss there will be but uh, this is what I'm using so if you're thinking of you know fancy antennas if you're thinking of uh, you know do I need a really big fancy setup to do what you do this just tells you this type of antenna actually there's tons of verticals like this there are on sale uh, or throughout the internet when you start looking uh, including eBay um, you know you could be very surprised if it's well positioned at how good the performance could be out of this uh, this antenna honestly so this is what I have and this is what I use of course I do have the uh, the um, k180 WLA that is right now out of service but um, this is my main antenna works pretty great it, and the vertical vertical antenna has the um, when you when you listen to regular VHF UHF stuff it has the um, nice um, pattern of being omnidirectional meaning it technically should receive pretty much equal uh, everywhere around it on satellites, it's a little tricky. Uh, when the satellites have low passes, it's actually good because it re it receives, um, you know, horizontally correctly. But when the satellites are very high uh, and they pass overhead, one of the, of course, the dead spots is above this antenna because it's not made to receive above it. It's made to receive around it horizontally. So um, when I get, you know, high passes of, of, of satellites, Often at the peak of the pass, I will often have a, a, a deep fade that lasts, you know, a few seconds to a, a, a couple of minutes sometimes. Uh, but uh, overall, I've been pleased with this. So uh, this shows you you don't need to have the big gun setups to necessarily enjoy the hobby. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.